This is a hard one. And I had to learn this myself. What will lead you towards a heartbreak is putting a relationship as your God. We get so infatuated by the fantasy of romance, we put people on a pedestal. We make them our end all be all, our everything. But in reality, they are not our oxygen. We are going to continue to survive without them. We will continue to thrive without them. They are not your rib. They are not your left hand. They are not your everything. They are just here for the experience in your journey. We hand over our power so freely when we get into romance because we don't understand how to really properly experience one another and truly the proper way to love. It's an art of loving without being codependent, without thinking someone is your God or someone is your everything because you are going to continue to live without them. And this is such a hard truth because everything is temporary. Nothing is permanent, nothing is perfect, and nothing is personal. And once we learn those three things, then we will allow the flow to just be. But we add so much pressure because we make this person our everything. You have to be your biggest priority. Because if you're not an individual, first and foremost, you are going to start investing your money, your energy, your time in an individual that is imperfect as well. And you are going to want them to be perfect. And they can never mess up because you have put so much pressure on them because you're making them your God. But no one is responsible for your own happiness. No one is responsible for your joy. So we have to understand the narrative of when we are here to experience one another and to know that this is your movie. You should be the main star in your movie. Yes, you will have co-stars. Yes, you will have extras, but you cannot be an extra in your own movie by putting the spotlight on somebody else. Understand who is your true source. Understand who is your true source for you. Humans are not your source. They are just the resource. They will help you along the way. They will encourage you. They will support you. But what if they have to do something today? What if they don't answer your call? What if they don't show up for you? Are you going to just give up? Are you going to lose hope? Or you're going to go to the direct source in your alignment, which is God. God gives you all your power. But if God is not in the equation of your relationships, this is why so many fail. This is why you end up in a heartbreak. Because you have handed your heart over for someone to break it. Everyone is not going to treat your heart with gentle love and care. You have to do that for yourself. You have to treat yourself with gentle love and care. Protect your heart, protect your peace, protect your mental. You cannot give that much power over for some people to do because we are all fighting trauma every day. We are all fighting battles every day. So the fact that you think someone has the capacity to handle your bullshit and you trying to handle their bullshit when you trying to figure out all this shit is impossible. Life is already hard enough, but you're just making it harder on yourself by putting people on a pedestal, by putting people on a pedestal above you, before you, and not putting yourself first, not taking care of yourself first. You are showing up for yourself last, and that is no good for anybody. Every relationship requires you to be a whole individual, to not be codependent, to be interdependent, knowing that, okay, my strengths and your weaknesses, and we can collide together. We can merge together and grow and evolve. But if we're not vibrating on the same frequency, we need to vibrate out. But most of the time we get in these situationships based off of the ego, based off of flesh, 
based off of trauma and we're not really loving each other we just are attached to each other if we don't know the difference and we have not been awakened we have not been healed all we're doing is dumping on each other emotionally spiritually and mentally we're not evolving we're not elevating because we have not understand that we are a whole individual outside of this relationship outside of this dynamic and we can never make a relationship our god because that will end up having us with a broken heart we have to understand the narrative of being alone it really means connecting with god spending time with god getting downloads from god but we stay in these trauma bonding relationships because we fear being with ourselves. We really have to switch this narrative by enjoying our own company. Don't be afraid to spend time with you. Don't be afraid to be an individual out here, to start thinking for yourself, betting on yourself and investing in yourself. I love you. <laughs>